Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three different types of email systems or sendabilities that you have in Go High Level and making sure that you understand uh, the differences and what you should be using. Okay, so let's turn over to the CRM. Okay, so you've got three ways to send emails. The first one is directly via the contacts when you have the emails, uh, the email address. The second is in marketing when you send out via a newsletter. And the third is part of an automation. Now I'm gonna break down the three just here. So the first one's in contacts. So if I just go into this first one just here, now what you can see, down here is an email button. So if I just press an email up here to open it up, you can see that it opens up uh, the email section. And here I can change who I'm sending it from if I want. It will send out under the domain that I have given it, the, well, the email domain that I've given it. Then I can give it an email address, sorry, a subject. And then in here I can say hi and whoever I am talking to. Hi, first name, so hi one. Uh, how are you in there? And I can send that. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't have a footer, um, a, a signature box. I can add that. And if I want to add it, what I do is I go into my settings, into my staff, and then just in here, edit, user info, and down here, I can give it as an email signature and enable all signatures on outgoing email messages, include the signature before quoted text. Or if you're applying, um, add this in here. And then I can create my signature um, in here and add it in. And then it will be attached to me. So if I've got many different uh, team members, they can each have their own signature and it works when they log in. So if they've logged in with their own account, uh, then when they are sending via the contacts here, in here, it will attach their signature because they're logged into their account as long as you've attached that in team members. So that's a good way of doing it. Look, you can send this out to many people. So just here, if I highlight this here, then I can send an email. Okay, proceed. And then I can write what I want it to say. So from here, add in all the information. I can use a template if I've got one. Um, and then I can uh, write uh, hi, give it a custom value, contact, first name, just there. So it does that, blah, blah, blah. And then got all my, uh, and then got my signature at the bottom. I can send it all at once, schedule it or drip it. Um, and I just give it an action just so I know um, and it stores as an action. So I know what I did and send email and then it will send it out to everyone who's got an email address. You can see there's loads of people up here sending out to like uh, 10 people. But uh, obviously only this first this one here has an email address just because this is my test account. Um, so there. So look, I, I wouldn't use this method to send out to um, to many people. Um, you know, and it's got to be a very specific message to these people. Don't use this as a marketing tool. Um, if you are going to market, then you go into marketing and in here it's emails and campaigns to create a campaign. But first of all, you can create a template in here. So you can create a template, add new, uh, create template from existing campaign or, or blank. Um, or choose from a world of email marketing templates just there. So I can bring something like um, this one across just here. Continue. Change the logo at the top. Uh, upload. There, I'm just going to upload my logo. It's uploaded. Just add that there. So there's a logo added. Now, if you want, you can change that background to white just to make it work. Um, or obviously, if you've got a different color logo, that might be there. Then you can uh, change the text just here. It It's white in here because it is white text. So that's the only tricky thing. So just hover over it. And then I normally write this in, in Word or something and drag it in if I want it to be white. Or I change it to black and then move it back to white. Uh, change the image there. And then, yeah, so I can turn this as a template. Um, look, if I'm going to neaten it up a lot, then what I can do is I can just 
just there. I can make it really simple should I want to. Image. Okay, I don't want that as big as that. There we go. So I got my image up there. Then what I can do is I can drag this in here and just say this is my text just here. And then I can say newsletter. And then here I can just have some text as if I'm just storing it. Let's make it a lot bigger. There we go there. I just want that bit of text and then I can get rid of that. Uh, let's just say I want that in there and I want to not donate, but find out more. And then the picture down here. I want something else. I'm going to replace it, create an image using AI. Um, so let's have um, digital marketing company generate. Choose a style. I've just left it as dreamlike. There we go. So I can add that in. Brilliant. So that's what I want instead. Actually, I just want that white. So I'm going to add in this here. Drop this. In there. And then I do want another area for text. It's going to be my newsletter text. Oh, no. Can be my newsletter text just there. Um, so this one I'm going to be like, hi. So it's going to be hi and contact first name, and then uh, add text just there. Let's delete that. Let's move that into there. I don't want that. And then I can get rid of this, get rid of all this, in fact, all this. Maybe I want to have a bit more information there. Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, that. And then I got my footer down here with my logo in here as well that I got that. So I can change that logo. So that is my template now. So what I can do is I can save that template. And now what I can do is every time I want to create a newsletter, I can go to campaigns create a campaign. I can do it from the newsletter, which I still call dog shelter. Just tick the tick over there. This will bring it up. And as you see now, this is it. So I know I can change this. So this is like a uh, news letter one, In this week's newsletter. So here I want to change this, um, where I'm going to be talking about all things AI. Brilliant. Don't like the look of that, to be honest. So what I can do is I can tweak it in here. So I'm going to move that up there and then I can move that there and delete that. It's the, oh no, wrong one. So just do that. So now this is looking better. I can just style that as well. And then in here is going to be all my text. I'm going to use letter text there. And then once I'm done, I need to save it. You can make yours look a lot better than this. This is just a quick example. And then if I go to send or schedule up here, I can send now or I can batch schedule, which I like to do. So I can pick the date and the time to start. So let's just say tomorrow at 10 a.m. Brilliant. And then I want to send out uh, 50 at a time and repeat after one hour and do it all week. And so if I run out of hours tomorrow, um, the next day you're going to kick off at 10 and finish at 9.15. So it's going to send 50 out between those hours. Over here, I'm going to put my from email. So chris at marketingbotics.com. 
from marketing robotics email subject is going to be um i'm going to save this just go back to my builder just grab that there okay go back to send or schedule make sure you save it otherwise you'll lose it so just there we're going to be talking about all things at ai and then reciprocant list here choose all contacts so i can add all contacts just there it's just as one because i've only got one person with an email address in this uh, i can send to a smart list which so you, when you create those or to a tag um people uh, classified by tags as well uh, and then you can schedule and it will start to drip these out uh to those people in the list so that is your second one that is how you go about creating a newsletter uh, via a, a marketing campaign uh, a one-off one that you can send out each week now the third one is your automation so just here in automation and this is the most powerful one for automated so create workflow just here and this is where you automatically send out emails based on what someone does so if i just grab the one here so this is the appointment reminder that you can see is already set you can also start from scratch but let's just grab this one so this one here which is pre-built so you can see when someone books an appointment with me they get a confirmation email then 24 hours before the appointment they get another email uh, and all the way down and if i just go to confirmation email here you can see how it's broken down so action name is just for me from name is location name which is the the sub account name but you can also uh put this here and then from email location email or again or you can do the just there then the subject and again all the information here and you can start using custom values to fill these in uh, this is set for the appointments so i like to use the pre-built one because it's got all these in as well which just helps uh with the schedule and the reschedule the cancel and the reschedule um booking uh links um but most likely if you're just doing a email to say hey thanks for signing up or um hey thanks for downloading then you won't need all these uh custom values just here so that's that and then save that um, if you go into settings just up here, you can preset your sender's details just here. Uh, so you don't have to do it in the other one. Um, so you can do it here. You can set specific time as well. Um, and you can allow re-entry. Uh, re so uh, at the moment, once someone's in there, they can't re-enter it. Um, but you can do that and also stop and response. So if someone messages back, which you'll see in your conversation area, um, or I think it's called conversion, then... Um, it will automatically uh, stop sending out any further emails uh, in here. Um, and then you can see what's been happening just there. So that's there. I'm just going to cancel this. So you can um, see. So they, they are the three things that you, uh, the three types of emails um, that you uh, can use as part of Go High Level. Again, in the Contacts tab in the marketing tab and in the automation tab and then all the others linked to it so sites and memberships and uh, anything that you want you know when you send out emails it all links to one of these three uh, just here so hopefully that helps you um, understand exactly what you should be doing uh, and how you go about thinking about what emails you want to send do you want to send the type of emails you send in outlook or, or gmail then if so you, you need the contact tabs are you trying to send a newsletter if so you're going to use marketing and emails um, and do you want an automation a workflow if so then you're going to go to automation and workflows and you know there's some ai tools in there i showed you the one for the images um because the ai's came on board now there's also one for text as well so there's a lot that you can do um within the terms of the uh of creating those emails look i'll be honest my marketing email wasn't the best there just as i was setting one up really quickly um but you can grab a really decent download a really decent template or you can create your own um, and make it look really sweet and do some testing on it to see how it works and the results you get back because in there in the marketing tool you can get the statistics on uh, open rates and bounce rates and hard bounce and soft bounce and things like that so uh, and see who's open see who's respond so in the marketing tool um, it's all in there uh, that you can see the statistics uh, that's really powerful uh, to know right thank you so much for watching if you are watching on youtube then please do like uh the channel i um, really appreciate it let's get my subscribers up um and, uh, and my viewers up uh really powerful stuff here to help you understand better about how to go about using go high level